representatives and thank you to uh, all concerned, which takes us to item six on the agenda, the report of the Secretary General, Mr. Montella. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, Lord Mones, uh, dear members, dear friends. Let me start by thanking our Belarusian hosts. Uh, I'd like to say to them, thank you very much. I was here in March when we started the, the organization, when we signed the agreement on cooperation. I must say you've done a great uh, job. I know this has been a great uh, uh, you know, uh, effort from your side. We very much appreciate it. All the members I've spoken to have already been very much impressed with the preparation you've put on place. So thank you very much. Uh, also, thank you for choosing a theme which is very uh, targeted, I think, today, uh, enhancing mutual trust and cooperation. I think this theme is at the very core of all our proceedings, all, all of our discussions in today's OSC region. Increasing trust, building confidence, there is no recipe on how we do that. Uh, nobody knows exactly how to do this. My gut feeling is that a good start would be uh, with the three words, uh, respect, mutual respect, no double standards, and uh, credibility. Credibility of the international organizations, credibility of the international actors. This is a good start, but there is no recipe on how you build confidence, how you build trust. I think this parliamentary assembly is indeed the forum where we can do that, where we can sometimes uh, bridge gaps, which at governmental level it's more difficult to. I've circulated my written report, so I will not uh, take you too much into the details of the report, uh, but I just want to make a few highlights on some of the things that have already happened here today. On the financial uh, regulations and the budget, I'd like to thank the Standing Committee for approving the budget. I'd like to thank you for approving the financial regulations. Uh, for the first time, the Parliamentary Assembly in 25 years has now a set of rules for the staff, with staff rules that were approved and noted by the Bureau last uh, April. And now we have a set of uh, financial regulations. These regulations offer a greater transparency, accountability, scrutiny, and uh, a more efficient management of the small resources that we have at the uh, International Secretariat. Next week, uh, in Vienna, Gustavo Pagliares, myself, and Francesco Pagani, we will also uh, select a new Chief of Administration and Finance. We have issued a vacancy which was uh, broadly uh, uh, publicized, and for the first time there will be a proper panel with a written test. They are taking place this week as, it, uh, as we speak, and next week will be an uh, oral examination for the new Chief Administration and finance. I will also take uh, the opportunity to thank the OSC Secretariat uh, for giving us advice, giving us also uh, an expert who is assisting us on this. On elections, which is the flagship on our activities, uh, last year in 12 months we've deployed uh, 10 missions. This is a record in one year, and it's a record also that uh, for twice we had the two sets of elections at the same place. Just last week in Mongolia and Albania, and when there were elections in Moldova and in Georgia. So we had our staff, our small staff here, stretched in two separate locations at the same time. For this, I would like to thank the 503 members of parliament who have participated in missions and have provided leadership, but also to thank Irina and the election department, Andreas, Loic, all those who have contributed from our side on organizing election missions. Um, on cooperation uh, with the OSC, as you know, this was one of my priorities. Uh, I uh, mentioned this uh, when I first was elected in Helsinki. I have uh, tried to reach out to the parliament, to the governmental side of the OSC uh, through a number of discussions with the Secretary General. I must say I'm happy to report that this is mission accomplished. I think we have excellent relationship now with the governmental side. They participate together with us. Uh, Mr. Tseretelli mentioned the visit to Turkey. Also a previous visit to Turkey we had members of the Secretariat of the OSC. So we work together with the OSC. We use common sense. We don't have the ambition of uh, supervising their work, we work together, we have a focus on what are the issues. We've understood that what is matters is how we can put all the OSC assets together in order to deliver on the issues that are at the forefront of the OSC agenda, be it on migration, on terrorism and other challenges. So this is the new asset that we have. I would like to spend here a word also of gratitude and thank to the uh, departing uh, Secretary General Lamberto Zanier. He's no longer Secretary General since uh, last week, but uh, he has been, let's say, a giant in uh, the uh, in reaching out to parliamentarians. Uh, uh, he has 
taken his own initiative to meet parliamentarians wherever he was traveling in other countries. And he has showed genuine respect for the parliamentarians, genuine respect for the work that we do, and genuine respect for the parliamentary assembly. You see in my report there is also an exchange of letters that I've had with him, and we have also outlined a bit the aspects of this cooperation so that it's also written in paper also for the future Secretary General, which is not elected yet, and we will come to that in a moment. Uh, so um, this leads me also to say a word about our Vienna office. Uh, I'd like to here publicly commend the work of Ambassador Notel, who has been leading this office for 15 years. Uh, he's led the office in challenging moment when our relationship was uh, that uh, that I would call in Latin amicus hostis, you know, friends, enemy, when we had challenges with the governmental side. Now the situation with governmental side is totally different. We have an excellent cooperation. So we're also a bit reviewing uh, the way we work in Vienna. And uh, next week, uh, Ambassador Notelle, Gustavo, uh, and the uh, colleagues in Vienna, we will do a brainstorming exercise on how to make some reforms on the proceedings and on the way we uh, work uh, in Vienna. Um, in line with uh, an Icelandic uh, uh, supplementary items last year, where I was asked to uh, develop an action plan on how the PA and the executive structure can work more closely together, and how I could find new ways to improve uh, the cooperation with the governmental side, I think uh, we have delivered on this uh, uh, through this report and through this exchange of letters. In Andorra, we will give you also more details on how we plan to do this structurally also with the committees. On the senior appointments of the OSC, the OSC is in a situation of difficulty. Uh, as of uh, last weekend, we no longer have a secretary general. We do not have a director of the ODIR. We do not have a special uh, representative of the freedom of the media. And we do not have a director for the High Commission for National Minorities. All these positions are empty, are carried by uh, people who have uh, the responsibility on uh, an interim uh, phase, but the election of uh, the, these members, the designation of these members is uh, still installed. The Austrian chairmanship is making a huge effort to find consensus, because as you know in the governmental side you need to have consensus to have these elections, uh, to, the, to have these positions uh, approved. So we lend our support to the Austrian chair, we understand that it's a challenge, and uh, we as Parliamentary Assembly, we always called for a strong OSC. So we hope soon that these four positions will be filled by high-level uh, high candidates with whom then we can interact and work. Uh, funny enough, for once, the Parliamentary Assembly is the most stable institution with the President and the Secretary General, which have a longer mandate. Um, two more words on the one on the Migration Committee to uh, express uh, great uh, gratitude for the work of all the members of the Migration Committee, Mr. Lombardi and all uh, the other members, uh, Mr. Neri and all those who have participated in recent visits. Uh, the way this uh, uh, committee has operated is really for us uh, an example of what we could do now also with the new ad hoc committee on anti-terrorism. And for this I would also like to thank the Standing Committee for approving this new committee on anti-terrorism. It's been uh, traditionally a Russian a proposal. Now it's become a presidential proposal after it was uh, uh, discussed in this St. Petersburg conference. I appreciate the Standing Committee for approving it and we will try to uh, have a lot of activities uh, in this area as well. Um, in concluding, I would like to thank, of course, uh, all my colleagues at the International Secretariat uh, for the work they do. As you see, we are a small office. I've listed also all their names in my report. We do our best to serve the members of parliament. And I also would like to thank all of you, members of parliament, for the advice, uh, also for the silence, maybe, <laughs> and for the, uh, the friendship that you share with us. I would like uh, un mot en français aussi parce que euh, je ne sais pas si ça c'est le dernier euh, euh, ou peut-être une des dernières sessions de M. Neri, mais je sais que c'est euh, Monsieur Voisin n'est plus avec nous. J'ai préparé un petit cadeau pour M. Neri et pour M. Voisin que j'espère la délégation française va lui donner. C'est pour le service qu'ils ont fait dans l'Assemblée parlementaire au plus haut niveau dans, en servant comme vice-président. Donc euh, je consigne ça à M. Neri, s'il peut venir ici. Et euh, Monsieur, juste une minute.
I thank the Secretary, Secretary General for, on your behalf for his report. I'm sure we